Have you ever been in the middle of a project only to be stopped dead in your tracks by an error message? It's frustrating, right? If you're facing the could not find com.android.support app compat v7 25.3.1 error, you're definitely not alone. Today, we're going to tackle this issue together. I completely understand how annoying it is when everything was working perfectly just a few weeks ago, and suddenly you're hit with an error out of nowhere. You're not the only one experiencing this, and it's a common issue among developers. Here's the specific situation we're looking at. One user recently reported that they started getting this error when trying to build their project. They suspect it might be related to the React Native FBSDK package, but they couldn't find any mention of the app compat v7 dependency in its build.gradle file. Sound familiar? Let's dive into this and find a solution. So what could be causing this error? It often happens when a specific version of a library is no longer available in the repositories your project is searching. This can occur due to updates or changes in the dependencies. Don't worry, we will break it down step by step. And make sure to stick around. I've got a crucial tip at the end that will help you avoid this issue in the future. To resolve the issue with the missing AppCompat v7 dependency, the user should first check their project's build.gradle file. They need to ensure that the compile SDK version is set to a version that supports the required app compat library. Next, the user should update the dependencies in the build.gradle file. They can replace the existing app compat dependency with a newer version that is available in the repositories. After updating the dependencies, the user should sync the project with Gradle files. This can be done by clicking on the Sync Now button that appears in the IDE. If the issue persists, the user should check their repositories in the build.gradle file. They need to ensure that both Google and JCenter repositories are included. Finally, if the user is still facing issues, they may want to clear the Gradle cache and rebuild the project. This can help resolve any lingering dependency issues. Fun fact. Did you know that the Android support library has gone through many changes over the years? Keeping up with these changes can be a challenge, but it's essential for smooth development. Now, let's look at the answers provided by other users. One alternative solution is to update your SDK manager. Start by going to the Build menu, then select Clean Project, and finally build the project again. Another option is to right-click on your project folder, open Module Settings, navigate to Libraries, and add com.android.support app compat v75.3.1. Don't forget to sync the project afterward. Lastly, you can click on the File menu, open Project Structure, and check the Libraries section for any issues. Let's move forward and look at another answer. One user suggests that this issue may stem from React Native itself. While there isn't an official fix yet, upgrading your React Native version might resolve the problem. You can find more details linked in the description. Additionally, another user found success by specifying the exact version of React Native in the build.gradle file. Instead of using a wildcard, they recommend using a specific version number. Finally, it's worth noting that this issue has been officially fixed you can check the latest updates in the provided GitHub link. Let's take a look at another answer from another user. An alternative solution provided by another user suggests a few steps to resolve the issue. First, open your package.json file and update the React version to 16.0.0 alpha 3 and React Native to 0.43.1. Next, delete the node modules directory. Then, reinstall your npm packages using the command npm install. If you encounter an app compile debug Java error, run React Native Upgrade. That's all for that response. Let's see what someone else had to say. One user suggests modifying your build.gradle file to enforce specific versions for all dependencies related to React Native. This approach helps resolve version conflicts by ensuring that the correct version is used throughout your project. 
Let's take a look at another answer from another user. One user suggests that if you've upgraded React Native FBSDK from version 0.5 to 0.6 and encountered this issue, you should open your Android project in Android Studio. The IDE will automatically prompt you to update your dependencies, which should resolve the problem. Here's the tip I promised. Regularly check for updates in your dependencies and keep your build.gradle files organized. This habit can save you a lot of headaches down the line. And there you have it. With these steps, you should be able to resolve the could not find com.android.support appcompat v7.25.3.1 error. Remember, keeping your dependencies updated is key. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe for more tips and don't miss our next video where we tackle more common issues.